Maryland and BRAC, as you know, we gained the second most jobs in the nation, the highest number of jobs on a per capita basis, and it was done in a very orderly way. And come September of this year, which is the deadline for the BRAC implementation, Maryland will be in full compliance at all of our facilities that have gained significant job growth uh, as a result of the leadership that we had in the state of Maryland. So what we're talking about is jobs. There's going to be more jobs, and that's the reason why these, this, this transit station is so busy. People are coming here. People are coming here because we have an economic magnet that's creating more jobs. But we're also proud that we have the right mission. The right mission. Senator Mikulski is absolutely right. The work that's done here at NIH, Dr. Collins, thank you very much. And to all the federal workforce, I couldn't agree more with Senator Mikulski. We say thank you for the jobs that you're doing. The work being done at NIH is the best in the world. The medical care given at Walter Reed Bethesda is the best in the world. But we also want to make sure it is accessible. What we are talking about is safety here, as well as being able to get to your location in a somewhat timely way. We want to get the people off the road crossing at grade level, which is terribly dangerous. We're going to be able to get people from the transit station to Walter Reed Bethesda without having to cross at grade at Rockville Pike. That makes a lot of sense for their safety, and it makes a lot of sense for people being able to use Rockville Pike without the interruptions of pedestrians having to cross that grade. So that's just one of the projects. There's four others that are part of the monies that were made available. I'm proud to be part of Team Maryland. I, I think this is a good day, not just for our region, but for the military responsibility of making sure that we complete the mission in a safe and efficient way.